Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, good to be with you today. We are in 1 Samuel chapter 14. Uh, today we're in verse 6. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 6 and 7. Great, great, great section of Scripture. One of my favorite um, sections in all of the Bible. And I hope you're I hope you're encouraged and uplifted today. The Bible says, Jonathan said to the young man who carried his armor, come let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us, for nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by many or by few. Underline, highlight, circle, make a note. And his armor bearer said to him, do all that is in your heart. Do as you wish. Behold, I am with you heart and soul. Like this is so good. We could spend a, a, a week of devotions in this, but Jonathan is just, um, somehow he was not a chip off the old block, right? Somehow he was not a chip off the old block. He was nothing like his dad. While, while, while Papa was hiding away in a cave, you know, when he should have been on the battlefield leading the people, when he had made massive strategic blunders, right? You've got, you've got no weapons. You've got economically strengthening your enemy instead of um, weakening your enemy. And then you've got 600 soldiers, right? Six, he has whittled down the army of God. This guy is like radically failed, radically failed. He's a man that's driven by his fear. And then you've got his son, and his son is like, he's like, he gets it, right? He gets it. He's looking over at the garrison of the Philistines and he's thinking, who are these uncircumcised? Who are these uncircumcised? You know, he's not just stating a, a matter of fact. What he's acknowledging is we are the people of covenant. They are not. We are the people who have God on our side, circumcision, um, an outward expression of the reality of an inward faith, a heart that belonged to God. And Jonathan is like tying into this powerful, timeless principle that Saul had no clue about. Jonathan is saying, hey, we, we, we've got God on our side. We are the chosen people. We've been selected by God. We, we are marked physically that we belong to God through, through the process of circumcision. Who are these people? They're uncircumcised. They are the enemies of God. And so Jonathan is saying, doesn't matter if we've got uh, no swords. Doesn't matter if they've been taking our money. Doesn't matter if we've got 600 soldiers because the reality is this. God can save with many or by few. God can save with many or by few. Like it's God who wins the victory. I said this two devotions ago that we don't assess our situation by worldly criteria. And this is precisely what's played out in Jonathan's life. He's not looking at what the, the world would um, lead you to conclude with respect to victory or failure. His eyes are set on Yahweh. He uses the name of Yahweh. He's reminding himself and his armor bearer that they're people of the covenant. And he states a timeless truth that has anchored God's people because, hey, God's people really do believe that God is able to do anything. That's what faith is. Faith is believing that with God, all things are possible. And he says this, you know, statement that like rings true throughout the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. What is it with God to say by many or by few? It doesn't matter. Because God is the one who is fighting the battle. And if God is fighting the, the battle, then victory is assured. And this was clearly inspiring to his armor bearer um, because his armor bearer is like, do all that's in your heart. I am with you heart and soul. I am with you heart and soul. Look, you know, this, he's got a guy who he's inspired by faith. He's inspired this guy to be to be a person of faith. The armor bearer was, was present to support the soldier, right? To supply whatever tool or weapon uh, was necessary for them to be victorious. 
And so this armor bearer recognizing, hey, yeah, you know what, you're right. We are the people of the covenant and they are the enemies of God. And with God, all things are possible. And so you know what, I'm with you. I am, I am with you with everything that I am, heart and soul. Two things today, choose faith. Choose faith. Choose to believe that with God all things are possible and root that in your covenant relationship with God. I'm not saying, hey, just be arbitrary about what you think God wants you to do. Do whatever you want and then because, you know, God's your servant, he's going to bless you. No, you discover what the will of God is and then you walk in it by faith, trusting him that he's going to do the work. You know, come hell or high water, God's going to be victorious. And then the second thing is this, surround yourself with people of like faith. Surround yourself with people of like faith. You know what? There's, there's enough discouragement in the world today all around you without it being in your inner circle. If you're a Christian leader today, be wise about the people you surround yourself with. Surround yourself with people who will encourage the steps of faith that God has called you to take. And listen, not just for you, but be someone's, someone else's armor bearer. Sometimes it's like, where's my armor bearer? Where are the people that support me? Well, if you don't have any around you, why don't you try being one? Why don't you try supporting? Identify the people around you that are really walking by faith and come alongside of them. Get involved with what God is already doing because at the end of the day, it's not about us anyway. Father, thank you for this amazing story. It, it really is inspiring and for however, the, the word lands on our hearts today. Help us to take real concrete steps of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.